Hi, I'm Zach, and this is a dev update for my VR guitar project. In my last video, I asked everyone to suggest a new name for this instrument. There were lots of good ideas, like the radiatar, the 30 string, and the Ethereum harp. That last one references a Greek god of air and light. I really like the idea of playing the light with these glowing holographic strings, and I also like the idea of having a brand name that would work for an entire family of VR instruments. The feedback I've been getting for this project has been great on Reddit, Twitter, YouTube. I really appreciate it. I've been tracking your ideas and requests using GitHub issues and adding your quotes along the way. The big feature in this version is the ability to change the sound of the instrument. As you saw in the intro song, there are tons of sounds you can choose. Uh, I've been having a really good time playing with these new sounds. Some of them have very strong volume dynamics like the piano and the steel guitar, which makes the strings feel even more responsive to your strings. As many of you know, I'm building this project as an entry in Leap Motion's 3D Jam contest, and the final deadline is on Monday the 9th. I've been very busy for the past few weeks with a new consulting projects, so I didn't finish quite as strong as I wanted to, um, but I'm really glad that I was able to release these new instrument sounds before the deadline. Uh, I think they add a lot of value to the experience. Ah, I should mention that you can download these instrument sounds as audio packs on the project page. You can also download a GarageBand project and a MIDI file, uh, which you can use as a template for creating your own sounds. I'd love to hear what you create. I think it would be really fun to try instrument sounds using your voice, where the dynamics of each note transition from, say, a whisper to a shout. The video description has a link to the itch.io page where you can download the VR Guitar app and some of these sounds. The panel for selecting sounds is built using my Hover VR interface kit. I built Hover VR earlier this year, and it's a really helpful tool for creating menus and buttons in VR environments. I didn't have time to give the menus nice transitions and everything, but here are some quick examples from my other projects. This version of the app has anti-aliasing applied to it. Um, the cameras use HDR, so I couldn't use Unity's built-in AA. Uh, instead, I added the AA component to the camera and chose the FXAA1 preset A option. This version of the app also includes an experimental leap-only build. Uh, so for users who don't have an Oculus headset, this will at least allow you to try out the app. Um, you'll have to set your leap onto the table in front of you, and just note that, at least for me, uh, it's much easier to play the instrument when you're using VR. So what's next? I might explore different positions for the strings and the chord selectors, and as part of this, I could also provide more ways to customize the size of the guitar, the order of the strings and the segments, and um, also allow you to detach the guitar from your head position. Um, now that Hover VR is integrated into this project, uh, I can add new menus for these features without much trouble. That's all for this update. For those of you with an Oculus and Elite Motion, don't forget to try out the app. You can find this entire video series on my YouTube channel and find me on Twitter for project updates. Dev up and rock out.